Hi, and welcome to the tutorial on how to install Mantle. What is Mantle? Mantle is an open source product from Cisco. Mantle is a platform which uses DevOps tools and applications most people are already familiar with or are using, including Vault, Console, Terraform, Mesos, Marathon, Docker, and more. Mantle is a cloud agnostic. You can run Mantle on a number of providers, including AWS, GCP, OpenStack, and even bare metal. Mantle automates tasks that used to require months of DevOps time to do. That way, you can focus on debugging your application, not your infrastructure. In this tutorial, we're going to walk through installing Mantle on AWS, but the process is similar for all cloud providers we support. Before you start, you'll want to make sure you have Ansible and Terraform installed on the system you're going to install Mantle from. Everything in this tutorial can be found in the install docs for Mantle, which you can find on mantle.io. So in the Getting Started Guide, the first thing it talks about is how to install Ansible. And to install Terraform, simply go to terraform.io slash downloads.html. You also want to make sure that you have the bits for Mantle. You can find these from the mantle.io site. Just go to the GitHub link. You'll either want to clone the repository or download the zip and install it on your system. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to do in the Get Starting Guide is run the security setup script. The security setup script simply sets up uh, passwords for authentication to the Mantle console and the consoles for the various other applications that Mantle uses. It also sets up the SSL certificates. So let's go ahead and run that. Now I ran this previously, so it's not asking for me to enter credentials, but First time you run this, it'll prompt you for a password. Make sure you remember this password because, again, this is used for the console for Mantle. The next thing we want to do is, in the Getting Started Guide, go to Provisioning Cloud Host for AWS. So this talks about the Terraform AWS file, which we'll use. Um, you might want to modify this to fit your needs. Um, I will let you read through the documentation at your leisure. We're going to keep with all the defaults for this tutorial. The one thing I should point out is if you're going to use Route 53, you do need to change parameters for that. So we'll go ahead and go to the Setting Up DNS, Providers, Route 53. So you'll want to put in your hosted zone ID, which matches a domain that you have with Route 53. And then you'll also, you might want to leave this, but uh, the subdomain, this is used for traffic, um, which is like HA proxy, it routes internet traffic um, to your backend applications. We'll get into that more in another tutorial. So let's go ahead and install Mantle. So let's go back to AWS, getting started, AWS. So we want to copy over the Terraform file. So we're going to copy Terraform, AWS sample, and we're just going to call it AWS tf. And one thing that is used, there's a thing called short name in here, and right now I have it as mantle demo. I'll have us call this mantle dash demo. This is used to um, identify your mantle cluster in case you're running more than one. Um, AWS uses this for the names tags. It also uses it in DNS. Let's go ahead and do that and go ahead and provision our infrastructure. So to provision our infrastructure, again, we're using Terraform. First thing you want to do is run Terraform get, and this simply gets the different modules that are listed in the aws.tf file. All right, that pulled them all over. So the next thing we want to run is Terraform plan. A Terraform plan is simply like a dry run. It doesn't actually do anything at AWS. It just does a sanity check, make sure everything looks good. ran that, everything looks great, so now we can go ahead and run Terraform Apply. Terraform Apply actually will spin up a VPC with the EC2 instances spread across multiple AZs in the region that you specified in the AWS.tf file. Um, it'll create ELBs and DNS. Let's go ahead and do that. So this can take a few minutes to run, so we'll go ahead and let this run. 
and come back. Okay, once that's complete, you should see apply complete and the resources that have been added. Probably not, nothing's changed or destroyed. All right, now we want to install the bits using Ansible. So let's go back to the install guide. So one thing we have to do before we can actually install all the packages for Mantle is um, due to some recent changes in CentOS 7, um, we need to um, run some upgrades. Um, hopefully this will go away. It'll be, once it's not needed, the install guide will be updated, but for now we need to run this. You can just cut and copy this and run it from the root directory of the git repo. So let's go ahead and run that. So again, this will this will take a few minutes to run, so we'll go ahead and let that run and come back when it's done. Once that's completed, you see, should see the play recap and all the packages that have been upgraded or installed and everything that has changed on each one of your instances. So now we're ready to actually install all the packages we need to make up Mantle. So let's go back to the install guide. So the next thing we need to do is copy the Terraform sample YAML um, to the one that we want to use. So we'll just copy Terraform sample, I'm just going to call it terraform.yaml. Now you can customize this, and it talks about this in the custom playbook um, in the install guide. It also says that you need to change the console ACL data center. Uh, if you're, but if you're not using more than one data center, you can remove this variable, but you can just leave it alone. Um, I'm going to keep everything as the default, uh, but I encourage you to take a look at this file and the custom playbooks. So now we can just simply run the Ansible playbook with the security YAML and the Terraform YAML. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is going to run, take a few minutes, and um, we'll come back. Once the install is complete, you should see the play recap, um, everything that's changed, and hopefully nothing that's failed. All right, now you're able to start using Mantle. And to start using Mantle, you can either use the DNS that you set up with Route 53, so it would just be a short name, which in this case we use mantle-demo in your domain with HTTPS. And you should get prompted for a username and password that you set up with the security setup at the beginning. Mine was cached because I've already been here and just saved it. Um, if you didn't set up DNS, you can just use the DNS that is automatically assigned for your control node. So in our case, we search for Mantle Demo in our Amazon console. I can look at one of the control nodes and just use the public DNS here and this should work. Click yes. And click proceed. And there we go, get prompted for the username and password. Now you can see all the components that make up Marathon. In another tutorial, we're going to dive into each of these components deeper. And we're also going to dive into how to deploy your microservices to Mantle. This is all for this tutorial. I hope you found this helpful. If you want more information, visit mantle.io, or you can get us on Gitter from the GitHub. Um, we're also on Twitter at UseMantle. Thank you.